And as most people do, my gateway into really good tequila was um, Extra Añejo. Mm-hmm. And it was, in my case, uh, Cava de Oro. Yo, that's my favorite. Yeah. One so I just like, things. what happened was I, I walked into um, like a little tequila bar in Cabo. Yeah. And they just, they poured this for me and that was it. Yeah. You know, that was it. So I, I always keep a lot of this in my apartment. Um, I probably have a case right now. Uh, the extra is really good, but I kind of stepped down now to the Añejo. Because I think it's a little less sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I always keep that not Activo around because I like to use it as my gateway to convince people who like tequila. If they like that, then I, you know, I step them down the line. I'm like um, a big brother, so I do the same thing. So when my siblings and their friends come over, that's what I introduce them to is the Cava de Oro. Uh, actually, you know, I'm like, oh, look, see, it's not that bad. You don't have to shoot it. You can just sip on it and it's cool. You sip like, it. Yeah, yeah, but that's how I introduced them. That's the gateway. Yeah. So I had someone over the other day, and I poured him Heredora Select uh, Suprema, mm-hmm. and they shot it, and I just I lost it. Like I I haven't been that upset since <laughs> probably the two thousand one World Series right. when right. the uh, when Luis Gonzalez hit that game winning uh, single right. against the Yankees. But uh, that was very deeply disappointing to me. So what I learned was I start everybody off with actually. Hold on, give me one second. Sure. Why you do that? I'm gonna pour my first glass. Yeah, so I start everybody off with this, which is like unbelievable. It's Kirkland, and I have them try it. <laughs> and if they and if they love it, then I keep them around the Kirkland level. And if they hate it, then they get upgraded. But it's kind of like it looks beautiful, right? And Kirkland's not bad. It's just it's a nice harbinger to see like where they where they're at. So if they're really good, you know, they move up the line. But if they kind of love the Kirkland, then they get to live in like Herodora and eighteen hundred land all night do you so. live on long are you are you on uh, in manhattan or like where? i'm right outside so i'm in hoboken so uh if you look at manhattan on the sure. west side of it you have a yeah. uh, hoboken yeah. sort of borders um a good chunk of it so like if you if you were to leave my apartment and go straight out you'd hit the vessel which is like that really ugly thing that looks like a beehive i know what you're talking about i got you yeah it's ugly yeah. i worked in rochester for a bit i worked at um what do you call it I was in, um, now I'm going blank. I forgot. It's not even that long ago. The city right above the Bronx. Yonkers. Yonkers. Oh, yeah. No, one of my really good friends lives in Yonkers. Yes. I worked in Yonkers yeah. for about a year. So Amazing. They have really good pizza there. That's what everyone says, but I can't even eat pizza. So it's Why? Are you gluten-free? Yeah, I'm lactose intolerant, even worse. Oh, me too. Come on. <laughs> no, no, we don't want them problems. We don't want them problems. <laughs> 